Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Not With Nat and Jack, I'm Natalie. And if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome back. I'm here to do my empties. Happy Sunday. I just filmed a video that's uploading right now. And I'm going to keep rolling to catch up on videos because last week was my um, cooking all week and baking with for Thanksgiving. So I have a lot of videos to do and I want to start tomorrow fresh and concentrate on work and clean clean the room and put everything away. And recycling is tomorrow. So I love to do my empties if I get to it on Sunday night so I can throw all the candles and stuff out. So I know I had said in my last empties I wasn't going to... I was going to try to not mix Scentsy. I never mix Scentsy empties with my vendor empties. I did it last time because I was busy and I guess I lied because I'm mixing my Scentsy again. I'm going to do Scentsy first. So if you're here for Scentsy, I'm going to do all my Scentsy first and then I'll let you know when I'm done with Scentsy for anybody who wants to stay for my vendor wax, candle, and wax empties. Um, I just don't have time to do two different ones right now. It's just too busy for me. So, um, I hope you don't mind. Okay, so let me get started. I'm going to start with non-wax first. I replaced in my kitchen garbage can. I had black currant and plum that came in one of my whiff box boxes. It's like that because it was in my kitchen garbage. So, I used this. And I took it out and I replaced it right now. I put sea salt and avocado scent circle in my kitchen garbage. I love sea salt and avocado. Um, I did, I, um, what is this one? Or butter pecan, the butter pecan scent pack out of my linen closet. And I put a, another butter pecan scent pack in there. And I also added in Oh, no, in my hamper, in my clothes hamper, <clears throat> I took out a, I think this is sea salt and avocado. I've replaced it with satin sheets, but this one is, I think it's sea salt and avocado. So I took this out of the hamper and I put, I even put hamper on here, satin sheets in the hamper now. So now I, so I take like a pin and I pin it to the inside of the hamper to keep the hamper smelling nice. Then in my car, I just put in a sea salt and avocado car bar and I took out an aloe water and cucumber. Dryer, ooh, a dryer disc of aloe water and cucumber. A uh, flower that I had in my bathroom, and I don't know what scent it is because I didn't put the label underneath. And I see, so yeah, I just colored it, and it turned like that. But I feel like I feel like it's toasted acorn and oak. That's what I feel like I'm smelling. Um. Okay. Then in my on the go pod plugin and my in the wall pod plugin, in both of them. I bought so many toasted acorn and oak because last year they were powerhouses in the pods and the wax. And I feel like they're not this year. I don't know if they, because they had them in clearance. So I bought, if you watch my clearance haul, I bought like tons of them. And I think they were left over from last year. That's what I'm thinking because they are not as strong as they were last year. So I took one out of my game room I'm sitting in. And I put Feeling Pine in now, which I got to go over there and smell it. I don't even know if that one is that strong. Maybe. I'm just not, I'm not paying attention. And then I took another toasted acorn in out from in my laundry room and I put my hero in. I can't, I'll let you know when I do my empties when they're done. I got to go over and smell them both. They could be powerhouses. I'm just not paying attention, but I will. I'll pay attention. Then for wax, I had left from last year a sample of Black Forest and Pine. I did this in my home office, and this was really good. It was strong. I did Caramel Apple Craze. This was okay. I think it was because it was from last year, and those scent um, samples don't last long. And then I did, you know, I did Vanilla Blackberry. It was in um, one of the whiff boxes, vanilla blackberry in a shot cup. 
that I did this in the guest bathroom one day this week. It went all day and night, and I didn't think I liked this last year. And I'm like, why didn't I like that? Because I was loving it this week. Loving it. I want more vanilla blackberry. I don't know why last year I wasn't crazy about it. My cousin Maria loves it. She goes, no, you don't like it. I go, no, I, I think I have some in the house. I'll send you mine. So I did that shot cup and I ended up, I liked it. All right, then waxes. So I brought my book with me because I normally when I do empties, don't really want to do scent descriptions because Scentsy does not do scent descriptions. Um, but let's see here if I can find Tinselberry was the one that I did and it's strawberry, cranberry, cinnamon, and sweet sugar. So I saw Maggie did this one too, where she got it in her, um, in a haul she did. And I was telling her, I got, I get a woodsy scent. Why do I get a woodsy scent? It's under fruity. There's nothing woodsy in it. It's strawberry, cranberry, cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar. Maybe it's the cranberry dipped in sugar. I don't know. But I warm this in my room, in my daughter's room, and I freaking loved it. And I have another bar, and this is from last year. Now I think when I close out a party I have going right now, I think I'm going to throw this in for host credits a few bars and put it away for next year because I really, really like this. And it went for like a day and a half. I didn't have to change out the warmers in that room, and I love the scent. Tinselberry. Apple cherry strudel. So I did apple cherry strudel in Axel's playroom. It love it for like three hours. It smells so good, but then it just dies. Like there's no slow. It just goes from, oh my God, that smells so good to you just can't smell it anymore. So that's apple cherry strudel. Cashmere and corduroy is going in, back into my club. I put it in my club last year when we closed out the fall winter catalog. And I'm putting it back this year. It's a bestseller. It's vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. If you've never had cashmere and corduroy, it is, it's one of my favorites in the catalog. Um, St. Knickerdoodle is... Baked apples, spices, and powdered sugar. And I got this one, Charity. I know, loved it, so I wanted to try it. This is in our sense of the season, I think. And it's really good. I really liked it a lot. I'm not putting it in my club. I might want one more bar unless I got another bar. I don't remember if I got two bars of it. But it was good. I liked it. Um, around the campfire is mountain air, fresh fallen wood, and smoky embers. It's one of my absolute favorites. I always have plenty of backups, and this goes in my club. I can't get enough of it in the winter. It is so, so good. I love, love, love it. I did this in my office. Yeah, I love it. Harvest Blessings. So Harvest Blessings is under... Mm. Would it be under spice? Probably. Yeah, here it is. Radiant apple, spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak. Now, I did have put this in my club last year after the full winter catalog stopped because we had this last year. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna go in this year. I really like it, but I'm limiting what I could, what I'm putting in my club. I'm trying to keep my clubs small, um, and I really like it a lot. I do have some backup bars, and that will get me through. If they bring it back, great. If they don't, I'll find another bar. But it's good. I really like it a lot. Um, Be Merry. Be Merry is pine, holly leaf, and cassis. C-A-S-S-I-S. This is from last year. I don't like it. Mm -mm. This is not for me. I don't. Maybe it's that cassis. I don't know. I don't like it. My Bonfire Beach. If you watch, you know that Bonfire Beach is one of my top favorites along with Icicles and Evergreen. This is like um, campfire and marshmallow scent. I think this should be year round. It's a favorite of mine. And this is in my club. I, knew, I don't ever take this out of my club. Even when the spring summer comes back, if they, when they brought it back for spring summer, I still kept it in my club. Huckleberry and Clementine, I was really, it was a bring back my bar, so it's not even available. And um, I didn't think I like huckleberry. I've had huckleberries that I don't like. They're kind of tart to me. It is, um, um, 
It goes for days, I wrote. On day three, I just didn't want to smell it anymore. It was in my home office. So this was really strong and it went for three days and I changed it out after day three because I was just over the scent, but it was a good powerhouse and I really liked it. If I didn't, I wouldn't have kept it in three days. I would have gotten rid of it. Then um, Caramel Pear Crisp is in my club and that's one of the ones I always say will not leave my club. I used to get like two or three a month now I'm down to like one a month and that's good enough because I have a lot of backups now but caramel pear crisp I love apple butter frosting what did I do this with um oh I know what I did so cozy fireside which is one of our scents of the season I don't I got it because I heard people you know people liking it and I wanted to try it so this is like gin ginger Warm, spicy notes of ginger and cinnamon. Yeah, I would expect Cozy Fireside because of the name to have been more of a campfire kind of scent, a woodsy scent, but it's not. It's totally that ginger and what else? Cinnamon. Not for me. I was really disappointed in this bar. A Cozy Fireside, like I said, should be more smelling like a woodsy fire scent. So because I put it on an hour later, I'm like, no way am I going to smell that all day. It was in the bedrooms. So I threw some apple butter in with it to sweeten it up a little bit. And it helped, but it didn't help, if you know what I mean. I kind of feel like I wasted a, a bar of my apple butter. I didn't like that at all. Velvet Moon. I really like this a lot. It's uh, vanilla flower and white musk. So I did this in the bathrooms. It's definitely a bathroom or a bedroom scent. It's not what I would do through the whole house. And I, I might grab another bar of this to have, but it's not going in my club, but I wouldn't mind grabbing another bar. I liked it. Then my favorite of my Scentsy of the Week was, and I've, oh, I've told you guys this before, I love mixing Wassail Wonderland, which is like an orange, do I have the notes in here now? It's like an orange zest scent, and I mixed it with Butter Pecan. So I did Wassail Wonderland and Butter Pecan. Loved it. So that's what I do now, my Wassail Wonderland bars i mix it with um a bakery love it i would get more bars of this just to have to do that as a as a mix because it's really really good that's it for my sensi if you stay till the end thank you so much i am going to go on now to my candles and vendor wax so candles welcome home bath and body works so i had this from last year and it is cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, clove buds, brown sugar. I didn't, it was really light. So, yeah, I didn't really, I, and I put it, I burned it a little bit in my kitchen when I wasn't smelling it. I put it in the crock, and I got a little more out of the crock for burning it, but not enough to say I would ever get it again. I wouldn't. Oh, I did a, I got a wallflower. I just did it today in my basement, because my basement ran out. I put a pumpkin apple wallflower in, in the basement to replace whatever I had in there. Pumpkin snickerdoodle candle is warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg sprinkled with sugar. Um, pumpkin snickerdoodle. It's good. I'd say the set and throw is like a five and a half, six. I like it. I don't love it like my pumpkin pecan waffles or other fall ones, but I would, if there was a sale, a good sale and I could get it for like under $10, I'd grab another jar of that. Full Festival, fresh pumpkin, sweet cinnamon, sweet maple, almond butter. I liked it, but it was like a not, I wish it was stronger. So I could smell it better when I put it in the crock a little bit. Um, yeah, the scent is great. I just wish it was stronger. It wasn't that, it was kind of medium. I'm not gonna call it light, I'm gonna call it medium. When I have candles, I kind of like my candles to be like a higher medium. They don't all have to be like powerhouses, but I like it more, more higher medium. Um, then I did sweet cinnamon plum. Burned beautifully, really beautifully. And I did this and then I put it in my crock and I really liked it. I do have a backup of this and I really like it a lot, a lot. You really get the sweet plum. The cinnamon really isn't there that much. It's a little bit, but not overwhelming i have my recycling there because it's going right outside when i'm done here um in the guest bathroom i did strawberry pound cake and then i put it under the lamp in my office 
another one that burns beautifully. Anybody who says they don't like Bath and Body Work candles, I don't get it. But And then I did a small, another single wick of pumpkin pecan waffles, again, in the bathroom. And then I put it this under a lamp. Um, that's it for candles. Okay. Breathe. 15 minutes in. Okay. Samples I got through. So most of these are in my, I do in the basement. And then sometimes I'll throw one in my kitchen in my tea light at night. Like when my, when my wax is like done for the day and it's like six o'clock, I'll shut my warmers and then I'll just throw my tea light on and put a sample in there or they go in my basement. So this is raspberry peach macaron from K's. I want more when the time comes that I'm going, this is going to go into my reorder basket for the next time that I order from K's and I just did an order um, with her sale this week. I wish I would have warmed this first because I would have gotten a clam of this, but I just warmed it. I ordered from her yesterday morning or the night before, Friday night. Friday night. Yeah, I'm so mixed up with my days. I put my order in Friday night. I warmed this yesterday in my basement and it was heaven. Loved it. So that's going to be a repurchase. Vintage Chic. This is from November 13th, 2021. And it's Helene's Gingerbread House. It's gooey butter. I need my flashlight. Gooey butter. Buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, buttery gingerbread, vanilla gingerbread, and a hint of sugared almonds. Like you just walked into a bakery. Um, I think I have a blossom bar in this, or I have something else in this, and I loved it. This was in the basement. It went all day and night. Again, Vintage Chic is another one. Let her stuff sit. The longer it sits, the better it gets. I give her stuff a year. That's for me. At least, like I, at least eight, nine months before, like that I wait to warm her stuff and I get great, great throw. Okay, this is Ava's Country Cupboard, Tiffany's Candy Corn Cupcakes. I wrote, this went for two days in the basement. I absolutely loved it. Here's my note. It was so good. Um, I have it in a cake pan. I'm going to hoard it for next fall. That's what I wrote because this is her candy corn cupcakes and I have the cake pan I got, but Ava's is another one, gotta let her sit. So when I got it, I got three. I got one for my daughter, me and my daughter-in-law and I told the girls, save it for next year, don't warm it. So all three of us saved our cake pans for next year. So when next year comes, I'll order it again and then it'll be for the following year. So that's what I do with Ava's. I buy this year to use it next year. It's like Teddy B's. If I buy any Christmas, all my Christmas scents I got in her pre-order are all for next year. I'm going to warm this Christmas now, the ones from last year. Did that, did I, that makes sense? I hope so. Okay, pharmacist daughter, sample, classic apple pie. And I wrote, I, it started off as apples with paint in a pastry but it ended up in a with a spicy cinnamon after a few hours so it was really really good I really liked it a lot but at the end all I got was cinnamon like a spicy cinnamon but it went for like I want to say six seven hours smelling like pastry and apples before the cinnamon kicked in not a repurchase then from L3 this is so old i this is, I'm trying to use up all my old samples. This is called, This is Halloween. I think I went on and looked. I am, okay. So this is Dream Sickles, Fresh Picked Strawberries, and Berry Tea. I wrote on here, it smells citrus. And it was old. I wrote that it's over a year old and I got four hours out of it. So the citrus, I guess I got from the berry tea. That's why I was smelling citrus, but it was... For over a year old, no complaints. It smelled good. It went for four hours. Here's another one that's from last year, like over a year old. It's called Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. This one um, is Skittles, Cotton Candy, and Frosting Peach Nectar Taffy. I gave it a seven, and I wrote, this went all day with a heart. And this is from a year. This is over a year old. Really, really, really good. Um, next year, if she offers that, I would take more. 
And then Predator, I got loaves of it. I've talked about it so many times. Um, I got like three backup loaves because I know she's going to stop pouring it soon because of the fall. You know, she starts thinking now of spring. But Predator is one of my favorites from L3. Um, Destination Wax, Cranberry Pumpkin. Um, it's good. I get the cranberry. I get the pumpkin. But it's a little, like, light. I would... It was just a small sample, though. I'm sure, like, in a bigger version, it's good. But I don't think this would, like, do an open concept, this one. I don't think you'd get much if you put it in an open concept, even if you had more of it. So it was good in the basement. Not a favorite. Then I got some clamshells here. I have Dexter Pours uh, Pumpkin Spice Latte. And I know I wasn't crazy about it. I gave it a three. It went for like two to three hours. It's over a year old. It's not a repurchase, but I love the company. That's what I wrote. I love Dexter Pours, the company. Uh, my son's a Marine. Um, they're Marines, and they do a lot for veterans and donate um, like a certain percentage. I don't want to say it wrong. I feel like it's 10% to help the veterans. My son's a veteran, so I will always order from Dexter Pours. And I have so many that I love. Their peanut butter and jelly is one of my absolute favorites. So, and I have so much more from Dexter Pores. Just this one I didn't like. Not that I didn't like it. It was, just, it was light and it wasn't strong enough. It wasn't a favorite of mine. Sensational's whipped peppermint cream. Mm -mm. I hardly got nothing. I used the whole thing and I put, I have three warmers in Axel's Playroom. I did two cubes in each of her three warmers and... Yeah, I didn't like it. It's, it smells like um, a hospital. That's what it smells like when you walk into an emergency room. Not the mint I like. Not for me. Uh, Super Tarts Love. I do have backups of this. I, I love, love. It's sweet pumpkin pecan waffles. Sweet pumpkin pecan waffles. Lavender cream, vanilla bean cookies. And this is a favorite. Like, I love, not a, it's not a favorite, but I love it and I got a backup of it. I'm happy I do. Okay, now I'm just going to go to like bags. So this is Rainbow Melts Baby. It's cold outside. This was poured November 8th, 21. It's spearmint, peppermint, and pink sugar. And for the first two hours, it smelled really, really good. But it, it was, and then it died. Like, that was it. I shut my warmers off. Made to melt. Um, Axel and I did this in our part one of our Christmas melting basket. I still have part two to do. Uh, this is the one where the snowman was on it. And Axe was like, but what are we going to do with that snowman, Nona? I said, we got to get it off. It was hard. I, I had to take a screwdriver and wedge it off. But this is so good. I have it warming today since early this morning in here. And it's leaves, marshmallow fireside, and cranberry chutney. And it's so, so good. And this is close to a year old or longer. But I love it. I would get this again. Her cranberry chutney is so good. Really happy with it. Uh, Vintage Chic. This was poured November of 2020. And it's Charlie's Snow Globe. It's rich sugar cookies, peppermint, cream Noel. Not a repurchase. Um, I give it like a five and it died fast. Vintage Chic. Here's the list. Check it twice. I think I did this also in a sample and I love it. And I do have more of this. And I love it. All right. Some of K's now. So here's my custom I did a long time ago, and I've reordered it from Carla. It's cranberry oak, nutmeg and spice, and bamboo and sugar cane. So um, my note, I wrote, I wrote that the set and throw is like an eight to nine next year to order more. And... Um, Oh, in my, so I warmed it in here, I finished it up in here, and then I put toasted vanilla cranberry in oil in my diffuser. So at the same time, the cranberry oak, nutmeg, and spice bamboo and sugar cane were warming. I had toasted vanilla cranberry oil diffusing in here, and it was a great day, all day and night, so good. Yeah, so I love this. Her apple cider donuts. I wish it was stronger for me. I don't know if it's because I do it in my open concept. Um, maybe I should do it in a smaller room, but or do it in a blend with something. I would try it again, but um, I might do it in a blend of some kind. So then her um, 
I got Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Crunch and Vanilla Birch. This is not my blend. I don't know whose it is. I took it from somebody. There. And my note I wrote, not as strong as I thought it was going to be. On cold, it smelled stronger. I gave it a six. The Palo and the White Birch are two strong scent notes. Did the sugar cookie diminish it? I left on all day. It smelled good. I just wish it was stronger. That's what I wrote. So I thought the vanilla birch and Paolo would make it stronger, but I feel like maybe the sugar cookie crunch kind of dwindled that, that tone that down a little bit. But I did love it. Like I said, I liked it a lot. It went all day. I just wish it was stronger. Um, okay. L3 flannel bum bum. I have this is over a year old. I finished this. This was in my partially empties like two weeks ago. I love it so, so much. So, so much. I would absolutely order this again next year. I loved it so much. It's the flannel to me is just like the Bath and Body Work flannel. And then that bum bum mixed with it was so good. Who would have thought to mix bum bum and flannel, but it works and it's delicious. Then I did a loaf of October Vibes, and it's candy corn marshmallow, birthday cake, and sugar cookie royale. It was a basic Betty loaf. I chopped the whole thing that one day, and I did it throughout all the open concept, and it was so sweet, and I was in the mood for something sweet, and I loved it. I would absolutely buy this next year again. It was really good. Destination. No, I'm not done with my empties yet. Um... Ava's Apple Fritter Zucchini Donuts. I, yes, I put a note in here. So, I wrote, this went all day. In my open concept, I gave it a six. I wish this was stronger, and the ending of it was spice. So, her Apple Fritter Zucchini Donuts, it started off, I would buy this again next year. It started off as a really good smelling apple fritter donut for like six hours, and I loved it. But after the six hours, it went to spiciness to me and I shut it off. So, but it was really, 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 really good. I liked it a lot. Um, Rose Girls, Autumn Walk. I got to talk to you guys about this one. So, it's Juicy Apples, Ocean, Air, and Rain. So, I had one and a half left of these and I did this yesterday throughout I finished it off in my open concept so early morning oh I wrote early morning till the next morning so I, I'm gonna mix up with my days I started this Friday morning till yesterday morning even after I shut them off and changed out my wax I went outside and did yard work every time I came in even though it was out of my warmers already my whole, it didn't leave my house. Like this smelled all day in my house, even after I shut the warmers. Now, I don't get juicy apples. I get the ocean air and the rain. That's what I get. It's a very fresh, very fresh, soapy laundry detergent scent. I love it. Like I want to buy this again next year. I absolutely love it, but I don't get the juicy apples. That's what I wrote. Okay, I wrote here. No apples to me. Very oceanic. The ocean air and the rain. It's a very fresh scent. This is a year-round scent. Like, it says autumn walk, but honestly, this is a great spring and summer, too, because it has that ocean air and rain. I don't get apples, and it says autumn walk, but maybe she'll do something similar for spring-summer with these notes in it because it's really really good um oh i got a little i i sorry i did the sample of witches be crazy for blueberries from um teddy bees that i got in my um pre-order and i did this in my tea tea light one night in my kitchen while i was cooking i was baking the baking my potato chip cookies and my pistachio cake and I put this in and I wrote four hours. I absolutely love this. It's so good. Um, I got more and I don't care. <laughs> That's what I wrote. Because I'm not really a blueberry person, but this was so freaking good. I got it in the RTS. I think I got 
a tub. I don't even remember what I got. I guess it'll be here soon in the next week. But yeah, so the Witches Be Crazy for blueberries. I'm not a blueberry lover, but in the Witches Be Crazy blended, it was excellent. I loved it. Loved it. I got this from my friend Alexis, the Melted Mousse. It's caramel coffee waffle cone. It's salted caramel vanilla ice cream coffee and waffle cone. Oh my God, if the Melted Mousse, if she does a pre-order and offer that in a loaf, I would absolutely take a loaf. I loved it. I finished a scoop. Pumpkin crunch cake, Palo Santo, warm vanilla sugar. I've been working on this since September. I got like four scoops going right now trying to finish through them before I open a new one this was so good guys I do this at night in my room it's it's still going in my room from last night I'm gonna change it tonight when I go to lay down but this is so so good oh my god loved 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 that really good absolute absolute repurchase Okay, then I did from Birdies Make Sense in Axel's room, I did whatever fruits your loop. So it's a cereal blend. It's Fruit Loops and Zucchini Bread. That's what it that's what I have left of that. And plus I have another whole brittle of it, and I'm happy I do. This is so strong. One, I gotta say, Birdies Make Sense. Her cereal blends, because I've tried other ones, are always so strong. This smelled from Axel's room and the three warmers I have in her room. You could smell it in my kitchen. It came down the hall into the kitchen. If you love cereal blends, Bridget from Birdies Makes Sense, she does them so good. So I love this. This is a great, great blend. Loved it. Um, I did, I have a chunk of blocks from last year. This was Port October 21, Teddy Bees of Winter Farmhouse. And Winter Farmhouse is Sugar Cane, Rosemary, Blue Spruce, Teak Wood, Sweet Mint, Palo, and Light Florals. Oh, I'm on 32 minutes here. So I did one of the blocks from there in my room one night. I loved it. I'm happy I, I'm hoarding it for just like in my room at night. Um, the Pharmacist's Daughter, Screecher Creature. This is Palo, Crackle and Birch, Boardwalk, and Marshmallow Clouds. Not a I have other ones I love so much more from Pharmacist Order, um, but it was good. It was good. I liked it. Not a favorite, but I liked it. Now I'm going to talk my favorite of the week. This was my, I have two favorites of the week. Okay. First, I'm going to talk about, let me do the one first. Well, wait. Cider Lane and Pretzel Day from Rose Girl. Cider Lane, peanut butter, pretzels, and cinnamon sugar. This was one of my favorites of the week. Absolutely loved. My note on here has hearts all over it. It went for six hours. Cider Lane was the top note, but you got the pretzel and the peanut butter and the cinnamon sugar also. But Cider Lane was your top note, but you got all the other ones too. Excellent. One of my favorites of the week was peanut butter pumpkin kettle corn. Guys, oh my God, this was so good. I did not order from her RTS yesterday, but I did jump on this morning out of curiosity to see if she had this one. She didn't, and I was so happy she didn't. I wrote, this was one of my favorites of the week with the L3 blend that I'm gonna show you next, and I need more. This is when next year comes after I do my no buy. I am going to treat myself. When she does this again, I'm probably going to grab four. I'm a, I'll probably grab four bags of it. That's how good it was. I've heard people say, so good, you want to eat the air. This was, I want to eat the air. I just couldn't get over how freaking good this smelled, guys. This, this was a favorite. Absolute favorite. My last favorite that I absolutely loved was I mixed L3's wild berry mousse that I've been asking her to repour. I just need more wild berry mousse, even though I have another whole one. So I have one and a half, but I, I need to know I have more on the way. I mixed it with Rose Girl's 
baked zucchini bread. Now, I think Nicole Perry a long time ago said she tried that mix, but I couldn't remember if she mixed it with pumpkin pecan waffles or baked zucchini bread. So I, I grabbed the wild berry mousse and I said, let me just do it with baked zucchini bread. So this was my favorite line in line with this, with this Rose Girls one, the peanut butter pumpkin kettle corn, neck and neck. This, this was one of them. So if you have wild berry mousse, mix it with zucchini bread. But I think Nicole did it with pumpkin pecan waffles or zucchini bread. I can't remember either one. I'm sure it's good, just as good with. So that's it. Those are my empties, guys. We are 36 minutes in. Have a great week. I'll be back. I have um, Scentsy Monthly Club and I have a Scentsy Party Closeout to do. So, all right, love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.